going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some more ARK. Absolutely having a fantastic time with this game. I love it. It's super much fun, and it's awesome. And I learned something new today. It's something new and amazing and unbelievable. Um, watch this. Okay. You know the other day I was doing this, and I was like, I can't jump super high. I mean, it's still pretty high. It's still pretty high. Um, but I've learned, if you hold the A button, and you aim up, you jump super high! <laughs> It's amazing this crab has the stupidest jump power ever. Uh, but that is not what's important, actually. There's something even more important than the jump power, all right? And it was over here. Is that it? Probably can't see it on your screen, but you're about to. Behind the Stego's butt, I believe, is a level 110 mole rat. Yes! A 110 mole rat and a red dodo, also level 110. Um, yes, we need a mole rat in our life because they gather wood. To get a mole rat, I need honey. I need honey, and I have no honey. So we're going to go get some honey. That's what we're going to do. Um, I know there's a hive that spawns in this area over here. Super jump. Enabled. That's <laughs> so stupid. I love it. It's amazingly OP. Um, so here we are at the river, where there's a Carcanos fighting a Spinosaur. No big thing. And it's such a cool looking Spino. I wish it was high level. Level 10. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, come on. Let's go ahead and get the butt smashing finished. It's gonna happen. Just accept it. Accept it. Okay, so... I'm not gonna lie. Where's the honey? Oh my gosh, did someone take the... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Everybody calm down. Nobody panic. We need to kill these spinos, actually, just in case it, like, it gets the idea to... to get crazy. Oh, you're gonna attack me like that? Is that how we're gonna do things? You hit me in the air? Okay, that's it. You and me. Go time. Go time. Okay, that was, a, that was a quick go time. There's piranha about. I'll kill them all. There's a Sarko over here too. Now, one thing about fighting Sarkos, you don't want to do it in the water. Because they can actually get up underneath your Karkanos. Um, if they do that, it is bad news bears. Because he'll just sit there and like float in the water, like on top of them, and they can sit there and attack and attack and attack you um, for lots of time. And it's not good. You gotta find a way of getting out from underneath them, or I guess get them out from underneath you. Is more correct? Yeah, die piranha, die. There's only three trillion piranha here. I think we got them all. I think we have slayed all that needs to be slain. We'll drop all that stuff. Alright. Now to get the elusive honey. There's a couple of ways, I think. All right, One is just to take the honey. I don't 100% know how much honey it's going to take, to be honest. So we're just going to get like... We're going to pillage like 10 or 20 honey. I think we'll be good with 10 or 20 honey. So we're going to go ahead and hop off like so. Um, we're going to actually set this guy. Can I hit your inventory from here? Um, behavior. Um, disable ally looking. I don't know what that means. Where's your stance? Attack a target? That's actually good. We'll go with attack your target, because I'm about to have some bees attacking me's. So what you do, a lot of people run up and just grab the honey and try to run. Uh, not a good idea. I actually like to do this. Go prone. Go prone! Then gather the honey. As you can see, they cannot sting me. Oh, they can sting me a little bit. How do you get up a little bit? Am I up all the way? How do you crouch? I feel like I've messed something up. What's my crouch button? I swear it's my stick. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's my Karkanos. Get in there. Get him, Karkanos. 2,000. Two damage? No way. Something's broken. Honey hive's almost broken. I already gather honey. Oh, wait. So I can do it again? <gasps> Did I just gather more honey? Is that a bug? Okay, I'm getting attacked. I'm getting attacked. Oh, <laughs> there that is. There's a queen bee. She's hauling booty. Oh my god, I'm hurt. I'm hurt real bad. He's not hitting me, is he? Oh god, I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm taking a lot of damage. I thought I was going to be fine. Yeah, get him, Karkanos. Slap him with your fists. What am I bringing you here for? Kill them all. 
They're still buzzing around pretty hardcore. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna try this. What's happening? I'm trying to get on my car, can let me get on him? Oh my god, this is horrible. Karkonos, you're supposed to be helping me out here, bud. I'm not gonna lie, you're not doing a whole lot. You're not doing a whole lot here. Swing your fists. Swing your fist. I'm running. I'm running scared. I'm running a fool. Can't catch me. Okay. <laughs> it's so dangerous. Stupid bee, go away. Die. Die in a fire. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, when the bees strike back. Um, that is ridic. That is ridiculous. Um, Karkonos, I'm gonna need you to just kill them. Okay, just kill them. We're gonna whistle neutral here. And also, follow up, so that you don't get going crazy lost. Just feel free to smash some bees. You're close enough, you're close enough. What are you doing? Where are you going? Okay, stop. Just stop and do damage. Just stop and go crazy. You really not hitting these guys? I think he's having trouble attacking the bees! Our Karkonos is in trouble. We will save you. I will save you! Okay, I mean, maybe it was a bad idea. Might have been a bad idea to save you. Never mind, never mind, we're good. Oh my god, it's a scorpion! <gasps> Through my bug. Come back. Okay! <laughs> Not the smoothest honey-gathering adventure you've probably ever seen, um, but we did walk away with one, two, three, four, eight, ten honey. Um, got to put this in the last spot. That's going to be annoying, putting it in there one at a time. But it's going to be totally worth. Totally worth. So we slayed the butt out of some bees. We've killed thousands upon thousands of bees. Should I walk back over here? Is that a bad idea? You know what? Not worth. We've got enough honey, I believe. I'm 76% sure this should do it. I don't know, though. I've never tamed a mole rat, but I know they like honey, and we've got 10 honeys. So, we're going to make things happen. All right? That's what's going to happen. We're going to be playmakers here after we smash this scorpion's butthole, like so, repeatedly. Apparently, very strong scorpion here. 130, yep. It's a pretty good one. And now we're moving on. Hopefully, the mole rat has not vanished and or disappeared down into the blue, because that would be unfortunate. Nope, there it is. You are the 110, my friend. You indeed are. Everybody calm down. This could be a very good day. This could be a very good day for us. All right. We're going to go ahead and whistle a hot passive, just in case, I don't know, something crazy happens. I don't want this guy slapping my mole rat. Uh-oh. The loading screen is taking place. All right. So, bud, whenever you feel the desire to dig a hole, I'm supposed to chase your hole. That's the idea. Chase the hole! It's the moral of the story, alright? Just get right up under butt crack. When they dig, you throw honey at them. They like honey in their holes, alright? I know some people like honey in their holes. I'm not a big honey in my hole kind of guy. Um, what are you doing? If you dig on top of that rock, I'm gonna throw something at you. It's gonna be honey. Alright. So he's meandering, slowly meandering. Not really looking like he wants to dig a lot of holes right now. Dude, you and that rock have an ongoing love fetish, and I don't like it. Because it's making things difficult. What are you eating? Alright, come on. You know you want to dig, alright? You're a mole rat. Let's watch out. There we go, there we go. Look at the hole. Look at the hole. Is he in there? What the dong? That didn't even work. I don't understand. Do you drop it in the hole? Was I just not close enough? I don't understand, peeps. I don't understand. It's supposed to be a very simple maneuver. It was not. It was not simple. <gasps> Carker knows what the... Okay, I thought, <laughs> thought he was moving on. Like, dude, Brohan, be by me. If things go bad, I need a I need a Carcanos size backup plan. We, already, we almost got killed by bugs already, so the day... <laughs> not starting out super hot. It's not super hot and delicious. All right, dude, we're going to try this again. This time, you're going to want it. You're going to want it. Um, it's gonna be great. How do you throw it in the hole? Do you just drop it? Is that what you do? Like, I don't understand. I figure you're supposed to just Y it. Maybe you're supposed to drop it. I'm gonna look one more time. Okay, nope, just gather the berry. That's, that was fantastic. Maybe you gotta throw it. 
Maybe that's the secret. Is you just drop it in his hole. Maybe? Oh, it's gonna be tough to do. It's gonna be tough to do fast. We're gonna see. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. I probably am wrong. Maybe you have to hit over on your D-pad. Do you eat honey? Can you eat it? I don't want to eat it if I can eat it. I don't know. This time I'll hit over on the deep. It didn't give me like a prompt. Like usually it gives you a prompt at what you're supposed to be doing. This guy, it's like, nah. You just gotta figure it out, bro hand. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna figure it out. I have no idea. I've tried Y in his hole. You don't Y his hole. And now he's floating. <gasps> there he goes. Alright, alright. No, no. No! <gasps> did he eat it? Or did I eat it? <laughs> I think I ate it. Well, balls! Oh, I dropped it. Um, can I pick it up? Or is he going to eat it? Dude, I don't understand your game plan here. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. We're going to try this again. It seems like I'm on the right track here. Perhaps. Dude. What are you doing? Oh my god, I hate you. Oh, this guy is a butt crack. This guy is a crack of my butt. I swear. <laughs> While my anger face is equipped. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get on the Karkonos, because we're going to need you to jump back up, my friend. Because this guy wants to be a freaking climbing mouse of, I don't know what the crap his idea is. But I don't like it. If you fall down to the blue, I swear, we're going to have words. We will have words all over the place. Dude, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Get your butt up the hill. All right? I'm not playing this game. We are not playing this game. What is that noise? It's my dog barking. All right, calm down, dog. You scared me. You scared me real good. All right? So you just need to take and dig a hole. Stay up here. Nope, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Okay, just do whatever you want, apparently. Don't listen to me. I'm just trying to keep you alive so that you can be my mole rat. I feed my mole rats well. You will like being my mole rat. I'm 76% sure you'll just absolutely love it. All right, I'm not just going to use you as a beast of burden to gather wood. I promise. I promise. Fingers crossed. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <gasps> did he eat it? <gasps> he did eat it! 23% tamed. This is going to take a minute. <laughs> so we're going to cut here and come back when this mole rat is now our mole rat. You know what I'm saying? Yes. We've got plenty of honey, though. I think we're good. We should be good. All right. So we're going to be here in a little bit. Uh, hopefully we can get this guy not to fall into the blue. That would be fantastic. And get him tamed up. All right. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for more mole rat stuff and things. All right. We're back. It should be one more honey and this guy should be tamed. He's been living life literally on the edge. So I'm hoping he stays up here for us to tame him, even though we're probably going to take him down anyway. Um, because, you know, there's no way to get back up because he's a jack wagon and decided to jump off the, the freaking cliff like he's some kind of flying mole. Uh, heads up, you can't fly, Brohan. It's not a thing. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. Dun, 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 dun. You are now my role. 165, not a super high level, but dude, I have searched far and wide, wide and far, up and down, left and right, to the left a little bit more, and I have not found many high level roll rats. This guy was the highest one that I have seen. Are you wandering or something? Or are you just... Okay. I'm over here. Who are you following, is my question. Who the balls are you following that's way over there? Because I'm right next to you. Alright, I don't know what your deal is. Check these stats out. So he's got pretty good health. 5,500 health. Stamina, I don't really know how much his stamina is. His weight's kind of butt crack. And I think he's going to need more of it. But we're going to need to do, obviously, I don't know if he eats, does he eat honey? Do you just like to eat honey normally? Sure does. Tear it up, my friend. Tear it up. I don't need it. I've already got what I came for. Um, yeah, I guess that's a thing. That is a thing. We have a mole rat. It's awesome. And now I've got to find a way of getting this guy safely back to the base without him dying a thousand different deaths. Um, and that's going to be fun. So, follow me. If you die, <laughs> oh, the anger will be real. Oh, wait. Never mind. We can just walk up over here. 
Everybody calm down. What is that? Oh, an iguanodon. I thought that was a bird there for a second. It's like a bird. Is that like, it's a bird. That's a bird! Until you zoom in. Then it's not a bird anymore. So we're going to walk this way. Are you behind us? Oh, you are. I'll slowly meander this way. Hopefully there's no evil pack of ravagers that kill you because that would really hurt my soul. That would hurt my soul a lot. And then we're going to have to craft up a saddle for this guy. Um, honestly, I don't know what it takes. I have a Mastercraft saddle blueprint, um, but that thing is freakishly expensive. Um, so I'm only going to craft that sucker if we get like a, I don't know, a 150 tame or something. This guy does not seem like he wore in thousands of cementing paste and millions of metal ingots um, to become a well-equipped roll rat. Are you making it, dude, or are you stuck? You're stuck. Come on. Come on. You have to baby you home, apparently. You can't understand how to walk. Are you serious right now? Is this rock going to cause problems? Can I just pick you up? That would be fantastic. Are you serious? Well, never mind, peeps. <laughs> I think this guy was way too fat to be carried. Um, I've been wrong before, and I will be wrong again. But right now, we've got a big fat mole rat, and we've got our pincher right up his backside. And I think he's kind of enjoying it, all right? I'm not going to lie. I think he is. So actually, we can just go ahead and call you to stop, because you don't need to be going nowhere. Okay, something up there is vicious. Scared that guy. But I don't see it. We're not going to worry about it. We've got a roll rat. We're happy. Stay there. Now, I've got to craft up a saddle for this dude. I'm actually pretty excited. It took a little bit to learn how to actually get him, uh, get him tamed. Are you still following me? No, you're just hanging out. You're just hanging out. Um, what are you moving for, dude? You just need to chillax. Chillax your butt crack. We will get you all geared up. So I think we've learned the Ingram. I could be wrong. Actually, let's go ahead and check. We'll check to make 100% jerseys. It's over in Aberration. That's what that cave up there is. If you didn't know, now you know. Um, where is it? Pliers. Maybe. Maybe you learned some pliers. Okay, roll rat saddle. Bam! We have learned you. Oh, I could have just leveled up. That would have made a lot of sense. But, you know, whatever. We do stupid things. We do that sometimes. Crafting skill. Why not? Why not do it? So, oops. It's going to be in here, right? Smithy tame, or smithy crafting. Roll rat. I can craft one! Green gems? I could have swore it was blue gems. It certainly was not. It was certainly... I don't know why I was thinking blue gems. I think... Some of my buddies are saying, it's blue gems. Um, apparently, they're full of crap -o. That's a green gem, my friend. That gem is green. And we now have the saddle of a roll rat. A primitive one, but one nonetheless. So we're going to put this on you, and we're going to make you our roll rat. Um, where is it at? Roll. There it is. Right there. R. Saddle. Oh, did I pump a level? I meant to put a saddle on you, bud. I'm lost! Okay, there it is. <laughs> Everybody calm down, I figured it out. Um, yes. Yes, I don't know what I even pumped on this guy. What did I pump? Wasn't movement speed. If it's food or something, I'm going to freaking flip. I'm going to flip bigger. F oh, wait, I think it was food. I hate myself. I hate myself! I hate myself. I don't care, whatever. Now, I've heard this guy can actually roll. Hence the name. Oh my god, you're turning radius. Butthole! Oh, hey, he can sprint pretty good. But I've heard he can roll, and when he rolls, it damages the crap out of his saddle. So, I don't know what button rolls. Was that it? And we'll check and see. Wrong button. X. No? The saddle's still full, right? Looks like it. Uh, maybe if, it's bra if you break something with that? LT, is that the thing? Oh, maybe you gotta hold it. Maybe that's the problem. We'll try holding the LT and see what happens. Okay, yeah, yeah, he rolls. Oh, that is actually kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. That's actually pretty awesome, and it doesn't do that much damage to the saddle. Maybe it's only if you hit something, I don't know. Um, we're not gonna worry about that, though. There's his attack. Oh, he gets berries! Berry farmer, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze! I'm gonna mute. <laughs> I hope that muted the mic, um, because I just sneezed hugely. It was amazing. What are you? It's better than 150, I'm going to cry. 30. That's more like it. That's more my arc luck. So we're going to go bite a tree. I've heard this... Okay, just take a poop. Just just poop it up. Dude, your turning radius needs a lot of work. 
It needs work out the wazoo. Oh, that's just my headset. <laughs> I just sneezed it off my head. It's fantastic. Um, man, your movement speed could use a buff, too. Okie dokie. Yeah, he gets some serious wood action, um, but he does not reduce the weight of wood. I have heard through the grapevine of grapes that he actually reduces the weight of stone. I think that's a bug, okay? I think that's actually not how it's supposed to be, um, but as of right now, it is absolutely a thing. So we're going to have to deal with it. We're going to have to deal with the fact that that is probably not functioning as intended. All right, I would say. My brain would say that is how it's supposed to work. So the best thing I think this guy's going to be for um, is have like a couple Ravagers behind him um, to store. Oh, I'm going to get in trouble here. I'm going to get in trouble here. I'm not going to get in trouble there. Never mind. Trouble avoided. Trouble completely avoided. So we've got a roll rat. I think the best way to use him to farm is going to be actually to have a couple Ravagers follow him around, um, gather up the wood till he's overburdened, hop off, swap it to the Ravagers because they can carry a whole lot more, um, and just farm with that way. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I do hope he gets fixed, though, where he does reduce the weight of wood. I'm pretty sure that's what he's supposed to do. I'm like a, I'm like, I'm like a hundred percent sure that that makes more sense than the current method. Is he fat? You're absolutely fat. Can't even fit through a dino gate. Uh, turn, turn one day. Oh God, you're so fat. You're so fat. Turn again. Oh, this is gonna take forever. This is gonna be a thing. This guy is really gonna be slowly maneuvered. Not a fast mount at all. There you go. We're gonna walk you over here. You will be our wood gatherer from this day forth. You shall gather wood for us. All right. Now, the question is. I said why. There we go. What do we do now? We have already tamed the roll rat. The roll rat has been tamed. And it was great. Dog, if you keep barking and scaring me, we're gonna we're gonna fight. A fight is gonna be had. Um, I think. I think we should probably go after an Anki. I mean we've already had a successful day. We still got recording time left, right? Let's go after an Anki. Hopefully we can find an Anki down in the blue. Uh, we'll bring it back up here and tame it, and it will be an absolutely fantastic day, because after that, we will be ready to begin preparation to build in the blue. Because it's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to get down there. It's such a cool place. Um, so we're going to head down there, try to find an Anki, and hopefully we find an Anki. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully that's the thing. So, stick around. All right, peeps. After days, it feels like, of searching, I have ran pretty much the entire blue a few times. I have come to the conclusion there are no A, high-level Shinehorns, Highest I've seen, right there in front of me, level 55. Pathetic, I know. I have looked, I have looked, I have killed, and I have waited for respawns. And this is what I'm getting. Not a lot of action. The highest Anki I have found was also over here, somewhere. Right here. Hiding in the bushes. This is a hot grass bush. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Never mind. Right over here, in this area. A level 85. This is the highest Anki I could find. So you know what? I am sick and tired of not having an Anki. We're going to take this guy, and eventually, obviously, he will get replaced by a better Anki. Um, but for now, this is the best we've got. Like, I'm just going to say it. This is our best bet. This is sad. It's sad. Level 85. I have walked around, like, for ages. It feels like weeks. Weeks of exploration. I love the blue. I'm all about wandering around the blue. I don't mind it. Um, but when I have a specific goal, like finding something that doesn't suck, uh, and all I find is stuff that sucks, it gets annoying. Oh, here comes the lag. Loading the world. Uh-oh. Did I drop the Yankee? Nope, still got him. Perfect. Perfect! I wonder if having an Anki in your clutches will aggro like a Megalosaur. You know what I'm saying? Like the, egg, uh, the Megalosaurs or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. It would make sense. They might try to bite the Anki and still bite you, but I don't know if they aggro the actual Karkonos. I don't know. It'd be weird. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. All right. Take one last look around up here in this area before we resign ourselves to the 85th level Anki in our hand. Something's max level around here. It's certainly not that. Um. Oh, crap. It's the Arthropleura. Don't worry, I can outrun this guy. 
I have skills that kills and jumps that are amazing. Nobody... Oh, he's spitting at me. He's like, I'm not letting you get away that easy. Well, too bad. Too bad, top of the mushroom. Not quite. We almost made it. We almost were cool for like three seconds. So we're going to go over here. I'm pretty sure that this guy will indeed um, attack me when I start shooting him. And they have some pretty decent knockback. So I'm thinking, maybe, is there a better way of grabbing him? Can I pick him up backwards? Like, I know the Ravager can be picked up backwards. <gasps> like that. Maybe this is the answer. All right? So we've got plenty o the Narco Berry. Plenty o that. Let's go ahead and aim you this way. Like so. And we're going to shoot you right in the butt. Is he going to attack me? No, he's not. All right, we have found the perfect method to tame the Ankylosaurus. So we're going to shoot this guy in the butt crack. Um, well, I can't really see his butt crack, but imagine there's a butt crack there. We're shooting it. All right? So we're going to wait till this guy knocks out. We're going to stick a bunch of berries in his butt, and we're going to wait for him to tame up, and we're going to have an Anky. Is it going to be the best Anky in the world? No. Is it going to be better than a pick? abs of friggin lootly So, that's the idea. We're going to knock this guy out. I'll bring you guys back when he's unconsciousable. And it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a great time, even though it's kind of already not a great time. But it'll be a great time. All right? Trust me. Trust me. It's going to be great. All right. We are back. And unfortunately, in our haste to get this guy unconscious, I may or may not have shot him an extra time. So we did lose a little bit of taming effectiveness. I'm not even, I don't even care. I, at this point, it is like 1 o'clock in the a.m. I'm tired. I'm tired as crap. All right? Um, I don't even care. I don't even care if he loses 10, 20, 30 levels. Make him a level 80 when he tames out. I care not. Ooh, bulldog. 100. Looks kind of cool. But 100 kind of blows. There was a 150 bulldog around here earlier. What in the dong? What was that? Oh, it was a mole rat. Right? 60, 25. I'll say, if I find a 150 now, I'm going to be peeved. I'm going to be so peeved, all right? Because I spent days searching for those dudes to no avail, all right? Bit my first... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot you were angry about things. Well, Dodo, you didn't deserve that, but, you know, life sucks. Sometimes life kicks you right in the pants, and it kills you. So you're dead. Anyways, we're going to wait for the 17 years it will likely take this guy to tame up, and then we'll be back. We'll be back when it's ready to tame up. We'll craft a saddle. It'll be great. What are you? Are you the 150? No, it's not. All right, no big deal. We're here to wait. We're here to wait. Wait with us. Wait? Well, for you to be really fast. For me, it's going to suck one. All right? We'll be back in a little bit, peeps. All right, peeps. I got a little bored waiting on the Yankee, and we saw this lady walking around the base here, 150 of the female bulb dog species. Um, that's not bad. I need a 150 female. I can breed that with one of my high-level males and make, like, super bold dogs. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to jam some aquatic mushrooms in this one. How close is it? How close is it? I can't see it because you keep walking in my face. Um, it's 99.4. So okay, next mushroom, she be mine. All right, she be mine in one more shroom. All right, that's going to be great. Use her for breeding later on so I can make some super dogs. Um, they'll be great. Right now, 150, I think is the highest one I've actually seen on the server. I think I tamed a 145 or a 14. I can't remember. It's been a while. But there we go. We've got the lady dog tamed up. Hopefully she can follow me better than the other ones can. Perfect. She's a she's a smart one. She's a quick learner. I debated t taming the little Christmas guy lady up, but, I mean, she does look cool. But level 100 just isn't going to cut it. Not around these parts. We need good. Only 728 charge. It's actually not a bad deal. I think I'm going to respec. Well, not really respec, but start changing how I put points into my bulb dogs. Instead of smashing the crap out of the charge capacity, which is nice for long term exploring and stuff like that, um, I think instead I'm going to pump the charge radius and the charge recharge. So that they recharge super fast with a huge radius. Um, I think that's going to be the idea for this lady. She doesn't have super high charge already, but she has pretty good charge regen. And the charge emission range at 303 isn't bad either. Um, so I think that's what we're going to pump on this one. We're going to get that one uh, crazy up in the regen, actually. What's up, frog dog? 
I'm gonna grab that flak helmet off of ye. Like I said. And we'll pump up some, uh, pump some more regen on you. Just so you can regen a little bit quicker. I like the Santa hat. I'm not gonna lie. I like the Santa hat. I really do. You get to keep it. Alright. Flak helmet will go on eeny, meeny, miny, you. Never mind, I don't like you. You! 237. Flak helmet? Yes. Absolutely. Wrong thing. Just pumped your health. I hate myself. Um, totally worth. There you go. There you go. Look like you actually enjoy it. Look at them eyeballs. Alright, anyways. We're gonna wait for this uh, Anki to tame up. We've got the saddle ready. Actually. Come here, frog dog. I need you. I don't really need you, but I want your light. I need your light. Alright, what are we at here? 29%. So this is gonna be a minute, peeps. It's gonna be a minute. So, we're gonna sit around and do this, and we'll bring you back when it's all ready to be a thing. Alright, peeps, we're back. It's been for freaking ever. <laughs> it's been crazy. Had to help Mike get a 130 Karkonos in, and... The Yankee is tame. The Yankee is now tame. But anyways, yeah, Mike was having some issues with the Karkonos. was grabbing him, smashing his face. They couldn't get it in the pin. Um, kind of like the 150 did. It was a big pain in the butt. It was like always trying to run away. It was super weird. Um, but they got that going now. Um, and this guy... Not a super high level, 122 tamed out. Like I said, you can find wild 150s. So, not the hottest. Um, wow, he got like absolute butt crack for weight. 325? I have more weight than that. <laughs> you are butt. But anyways, got the saddle. Ready to make him a thing. I am just glad that that is over. That took forever. It's only 85. We gotta do it all again when we find a 150 probably. I wanna see what he gets for flint. 106 flint? That was butt crack. That can't be right. Okay, something's wrong. 30 flint. There's no way you're getting 30 flint per rock. 95 flint. Is this correct? Are these the correct numbers? If that's the correct numbers, I can get more than that with my friggin' hatchet. Pick, I said. Okay, now we find the invincible rock. <laughs> there we go. Nothing else there. Swing and miss. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's okay. That's alright. We can handle that. It's still better than having to pick it all by hand. Because that sucks one. Don't need any stone on you, my friend. You don't need stone. But anyways, we got our Anki tamed up. That's the main thing I wanted to get today. We got a mole rat and an Anki, which is everything that we needed um, to start getting all everything that we need to move into blue. You know, gunpowder is now a check. All the metal we could ever want and or need. There was nothing there. I swung for no reason. Um, but we're looking good. We're looking good. We're ready to go. Ready to start getting some stuff set up down there. Maybe next episode that'll be a thing. I don't know. I'm no, I don't know. I don't know. Might want to get a bulb dog or something like that first. A good one that's like, you know, with the lower charge rate, higher capacity. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But for now, that is going to be it, guys. It's been a long night. It's like 1.30 in the morning right meow. Um, for me, recently, that's, that's a pretty long day. All right, I got up at what? I don't know, like seven this morning, something like that. Um, that was dumb. We'll jump a little higher. Oh crap! How how high? Whoa! Are we in? We're in. We're in. We're in. Okay, Stego, your fat butt is really getting. Oh no! Now we've done it. Now we've overshot the pin. No, we haven't. We're falling backwards. Perfect. That's what I meant to do the whole time. All right. Okay. Now we're stuck on a dog. We're good. We are good. We're good. But that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're liking the videos, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button and show your support for the channel. If you're liking the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. It definitely helps me out. And I will see you guys in the next one.